What is going on guys, Apple Fox here and the second beta of iOS 10 has been published by Apple and in this video I just want to tell you pretty much everything you need to know about this update. It was about 500 megabytes large on iPhone 6s, which seems to be much but the first beta was more than 2GB so... But of course the first beta brought all the changes. So before the update I've had available 1.38 gigs, and after I've had 1.17 gigabytes, so I lost a couple hundred megabytes there. When it is installed it might look like it's nothing changed but when you start to use it you'll find many bigger or small changes in the user interface. In the second beta in the notification center there are two pages everywhere. Because in my older video I've showed you that in any app you can access the page with widgets in the notification center but it's not accessible on the home screen. Apple didn't put it there because you can access it when you come back and swipe right, but I think it's better and more comfortable this way. When talking about widgets, they can now be any size, so as you can see they are not shrunk anymore and they can show all their content in full size. The notifications you have missed are not called missed and instead it has been renamed to recent. In the control center, the toggles became freely touch compatible in iOS 10, but with the second beta the toggles are changed. When freely touching the flashlight, there are now toggles saying low, medium or bright light instead of low, medium and high intensity. What's even better is that now there are also icons of the flashlights. Also the toggles on clock are now changed but only the icons were added. Other than that, it stayed the same. The background when a folder is open is less transparent, which is not very nice in my opinion. I personally liked it a lot more before but maybe it will be changed later with another beta. The notes app got a new 3D touch toggle saying create a new checklist which was not featured in the previous beta. In the home button settings there is a new option called rest finger to unlock which basically allows you just to place your finger on the home button to unlock your iPhone. When unlocking an iPhone running iOS 10 beta 2 up here you can see that the lock got new animation and it says unlock when you put finger on the home button. And in the settings, under general, accessibility and display accommodations, where the reduced white point is, is now an option to see on how many percent is the reduced white point feature enabled. It starts on 25% and for people who use it, this is also something to get excited about. In context, when freely touching on any of these, you can see that the toggles appear differently. They don't appear at the same time, but instead they appear after each other. I'm not sure if it's a bug or this is how it's supposed to be, but it looks nice. When I opened up notes for the first time after I installed the second beta, the screen popped up that basically said that now there's an option to invite certain people to edit or view your notes. And also the sound when scrolling through numbers in the timer is changed and it sounds like this. And if you don't use or don't have enabled the wake alarm, you no longer have just blank page in front of you, but now there's a blurry image of the controls that appear when you enable it. And also what I almost forgot about is that now the free touch toggle on the health app the one that says today is changed and there is now a calendar instead of the fancy picture before. So hopefully I didn't forget anything and I'm really looking forward to the final version of iOS 10, which you'll see that in September by the way. And if you like this video then hit the like button to let me know and don't forget to check out some of my other videos and definitely click the subscribe button if you like those. Have a really nice day and see you next time.